Hi, I'm Scott Kelby, editor and publisher of Photoshop User Magazine, and I uh, created a special tutorial just for NEPP members based on something I talked about on my blog, which is scottkelby.com. And it was about a technique that is uh, very, very popular right now, which creates kind of a grungy effect, and a lot of very, very famous photographers right now have perfected this, this look, and although I can't show you exactly how to get to their look I can show you how to kind of get into the ballpark of the style of look that they're getting and uh, we do it here in camera raw now you can either do it in camera raw in Photoshop CS3 it has to be CS3 for this to work or you can do it in a Lightroom in Lightroom's develop module because the controls that you see over here on the right side are exactly the same in Lightroom's develop module as they are right here in the basic panel of camera raw so let's begin. Here's what you do. You're going to take a bunch of these sliders and drag them over to 100, starting with the recovery slider, all the way over to 100. Then you're going to take the fill light, all the way over to 100. Then you're going to take the contrast, all the way over to 100. Then the clarity, all the way over to 100. Now, at this point, we have one more slider to go. Vibrance is going to look pretty bad. But before we move vibrance, I usually go and grab the black slider. Because when you move the fill light slider, it kind of washed out the whole image, we then go to the black slider to kind of bring some of the detail back. So it's going to, it's going to look pretty bad, but maybe somewhere in there. Drag the vibrant slider now all the way to 100, and it looks really, really, really bad. So what you're going to do is go into the saturation and lower it way, way down to where there's just a hint of color, something along those lines right there. So let me put it at about minus uh, maybe 68. Now there's two more things we can do to accentuate this effect. One's go to the curves, the tone curve panel, go to the point curve and hit strong contrast. That just makes it a little more contrasty, right? Which contrast is good. And then we're going to go to the sixth, pa sixth panel over the lens corrections and we're going to darken the edges of our image by going to take the amount to minus 100, which as you can see darkens all the edges. Then we're going to move the midpoint if it gets too if it gets too close this moves it away from the center this moves it closer to the center we're going to move in this case a little away from the center so you can see more of the car now doing this darkening the all edges makes the photo sometimes look a little too dark so we'll head back to the exposure slider and brighten up the whole image just a little bit and there you kind of have the look that has got that hyper amount of sharpening and uh, basically gives you that kind of grungy look that is so popular right now and again you can do this in either camera raw or in Lightroom's develop module because in the basic panel these controls are all exactly the same so just to recap 100 on recovery 100 on fill light 100 on contrast contrast 100 on clarity 100 in vibrance and then you're just going to lower the saturation down to where you just see a little hint of color so it's just yeah, maybe more like that, where it's minus 77, so something like that. So you just have a little bit of hint of color, and you can see the detail it's brought out in all these different things in the image. So there you have it, a very quick and easy tutorial on how to get that cool, grungy look that, uh, that everybody's after. Hey, uh, thanks so much for this taking a moment to watch this tutorial, and thanks for being an app member. Take care.